which away from the courts to the National Assembly where Speaker of the House of Representatives has appealed to resident doctors to put their planned strike on hold for two weeks to give room for intervention of the parliament. Uh, parliament. The, uh, Speaker Tajuddin Abbas made the appeal at a meeting with the leadership of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors. A National Assembly correspondent, Jokadisa, reports. Over time, resident doctors in Nigeria have been at daggers drawn with the government over pressing labor issues. In May, the association called its members out on a five-day warning strike to protest unmet demands. The warning strike was in the aftermath of the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the government and the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors. The doctors later issued a two-week ultimatum to the authorities criticizing the government for not keeping to the letters of the MOU. This meeting led by the speaker is to find means of averting another strike in the nation's hospitals. While he understands the agitations of the doctors, his appeal is that they put the planned strike on hold while the parliament intervenes. We must approach these issues with an open mind and guided by the fact that revenues available to the government may not fully meet our demands. Therefore, we must find a middle ground that satisfies everyone without prejudice to the 2023 Memorandum of Understanding. The meeting goes into a closed-door session, which ends after about two hours. At the end of the meeting, NAD President Innocent Oji says government has failed to keep to timelines outlined in the MOU. We have gotten so many promises. In fact, even last week, we got a promise for us to wait for a day or two. You know, now uh, we are being asked again to wait for, for two weeks. We are leaders uh, of the association and uh, we are going to communicate this request to our members. Uh, and um, of course, they take their decision. Nevertheless, he says the leadership will take the speaker's plea to his members. The intervention of the speaker is expected to douse all tension and work out modalities for meeting the resident doctor's demands such that the average Nigerian in need of affordable health care does not suffer untold hardship. Jokia TVC News, Abuja. Meanwhile, President Bola Tinobu has assured that his government will prioritize security as a way of unlocking the potential in foreign direct investments, trade and economic policies that will boost the nation's development. President Tinubu made his known at a book presentation by former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment in Abuja, Helena Samede Akins reports. Since the global outbreak of COVID-19, Nigeria's economy, like so many others, has suffered decline. Foreign direct investment into Nigeria's economy experienced a sharp decline. President Bola Tinubu has come in at a critical time in the nation's history and upon resumption of office introduced several policies to help revamp the country's economy. Here at this event, the president promised to prioritize issues of security and corruption in order to boost the country's economy, even as former president Tolusha Gwobasanjo calls for proper implementation and consistencies in government policies. Starting with leadership, political and governance structure. A strong political and governance structure that prioritizes social stability, human capital development, and infrastructure initiatives can propel a country towards a path of inclusive development. But the beginning of charting a new course for ourselves is to admit our failure because we have not always put the round peg in the round hole. Former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investments, Olusha Gwaganga, calls for the reform of civil service to the level of the country's potential. That we need to make our civil service leaner and smarter, not like this a social security organization. The civil service needs to be apolitical and professional. We need to pay them far much more to attract and retain, 
and retain the best brains in our civil service. Participants at the event agree that growing the nation's economy is everyone's business and all hands must be on deck to unlock in the nation's potentials. Helen Osamide Kings, TVC News, Abuja.